Our Old Testament lesson this morning comes from Psalm 82. If you have your Bibles with you this, this morning, Psalm 82, the Old Testament. Also our Gospel lesson, Luke chapter 10, 25 through 37. Psalm 82. God has taken his place in the divine council. In the midst of the gods, he holds judgment. How long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? Give justice to the weak and the orphan. Maintain the rights of the lowly and the destitute. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They have neither knowledge nor understanding. They walk around in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I say, you are gods, children of the Most High, all of you. Nevertheless, you shall die like mortals and fall like any prince. Rise up, O God, judge the earth, for all the nations belong to you. May God add God's blessing to the reading of God's word this morning. Hallelujah. Now please stand as you are able for our gospel lesson this morning, Luke chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. Luke chapter 10, 25 through 37. The parable of the Good Samaritan. Just then, a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to what? And inherit eternal life. He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your soul and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Yes. And he said to him, you have given the right answer. So do what? Do this and you will live. Yes. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man was going down from Jerusalem to where? Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a priest who was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him. And when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged up his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three... Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, the one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, go, go and do likewise. Brothers and sisters, this is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. 